Hey, it's Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. I'm sitting outside a vendor village in a town that's about an hour away from me. And I've had good luck here before. I'm about to go in and see what I could find. Today I'm looking for Swedish country style and Gustavian country style items, but I am open to whatever. So let's go. First thing I saw in there were these beautiful dressers. They were so pretty. They made me think of Swedish country style because they were white with some blue. And I loved the light gray blue on this chest and the sort of whitewash on the brown chest next to it. I thought those would both be perfect for Swedish country style look or even a French country style look. They were just very well done, lovely. She had a lot of really neat smalls in that booth as well. I think these Dutch shoes can be really cute, even though you see them a lot everywhere. I kind of like them still. And this was a neat piece of pottery. I loved how it was just so simple and cream. I, not really even sure what it was, maybe a sugar bowl or something. Okay, and then this booth, she had some beautiful old blankets and linens. Look at that crocheted. I love how light that is and the beautiful embroidery on these sheets, the lace. It was so charming. Everything she had picked out was gorgeous and I could see it working so well, especially for a Swedish country style because of the simplicity of it and the little sprigs of flowers. I associate that with that style so much. And these were pillowcases with these little, look how darling that is. Somebody stitched those on to these white pillowcases. I absolutely loved them. This plate was so pretty too, and I thought it would be great for Swedish country style with the light white background. And this place had Longa Burger baskets everywhere. So many booths had them. Longa Burger baskets are beautiful. They are so well made. They're made in Dresden, Ohio, and I think that they are classics. They can look very European, even though they're all American. And then I saw this gorgeous floor lamp. I might go back and get this. I should add, I thought everything in here was very reasonably priced. They wanted $30 for this lamp. It had a beautiful shade. I often see these antique lamps and the shade is missing, the glass shade, and that is just, it's hard to replace. This one was intact and I loved the shape of it. It was just great. These are some other really nice quality lamps with nice quality lampshades. This was really heavy. I think it was really brass. I liked it. Kind of swung out on an arm. This one was nice too. Not sh the lampshade especially is very nice. This little table would be a great... Swedish country style little tea table to add in front of a sofa or something. I love the little legs. It's a little low. I wish it was higher. These were bluegrass pottery dishes, I think they're called. No, Blue Ridge pottery, and they were hand painted. I thought they were so pretty. There were a ton of them too. Um, they wanted a little more than I like to spend even though it wasn't that bad. Three plates for nine, three dollars a plate. It's not really, it's really not too bad. Uh, but I wasn't sure either if they would be dishwasher and microwave safe. I looked on the back to see, but it just said hand painted. Mm, looks maybe a little delicate. They were lovely though. I love the flower patterns. There was this cool crockery bowl down here too. Some kind of old pottery. I liked it. And these were knobs for a dresser. I really thought about getting those. They look really Swedish with that gingham check. 
but I couldn't think of what I'd put them on, and so I just left them. And these were huge, just really fun for a girl's room. My girl's dressers don't need knobs, unfortunately. <laughs> I was really tempted to take them, though. But I'm trying not to just collect everything just because it's there. So I put them back. This was a sweet little kitchen prayer. Um, I couldn't really see the writing. It was so small. Charming. And this little heart-shaped plate with strawberries I thought was so sweet. It was just a dollar. It was from William Sonoma. I wonder if maybe it was like a set of dessert plates or something. Really cute. And then there was this collection of old tins down here. I really like that macaroni one a lot. Who knew wheat thins used to come in a tin? Old lunch boxes. Uh, G.I. Joe. I thought about getting that for my boys, but they're a little old for that. I loved this figurine. It looked like a like a Swedish lord or something from the 1700s or a French and that I think that's kind of the way they dressed back then. I love the color, that faded green. This was a really cool primitive piece. I'm not even sure if it was for sale or if she just had her things displayed in it, but I loved the blue color. It was very, very primitive, and it was full of these uh, really nice quality, different table linens and things. Linen, real linen, and... I was really taken mostly with the actual cupboard, though. It would have been really great for a bathroom or anywhere. I, I love the color. I'm not sure if those drawers opened. Here's the little guy again. I just really liked him. I thought those might be cool, but they were just sort of light plastic. Uh, book about covered bridges or something. I liked these salt and pepper shakers. I don't know. Oh, salt, pepper. I see. I thought I was reading it. ISI. And then it seemed to have this coordinating plate. And uh, I loved this lamp. I loved the colors on it. I thought it'd be really good looking with a fabric pleated shade. Very English country. It was a little pricey, though. That stuff made me think of Sweden with the blue. I like glass coffee mugs. Some brass angels. They didn't feel as heavy as I would have liked, though. They just seemed kind of light, so I left them there. I do like the idea of brass angel candlesticks, though. This was a cool covered pot. And this was a sweet little, like, it'd be so pretty for towels or something. Really charming. Little rack or, or for magazines. This was an old, like, 1960s era trash can. It made me think of my grandmother so much, like something she would have had in her bedroom. It was really fun. I am such a sucker for the tree on top of the old station wagon. I know it's such a cliche, but I love it. And that, I guess, I think that was a recipe box behind it. That was really sweet, too. Sort of All-American. I thought about this bundle of wine corks for my father-in-law. Oh, and I love candle holders. This was a really pretty one. Look at that gorgeous color. more those were great like for dessert plates I love the gold rims they were really thick and they were really really pretty up close and there's another pretty plate serving plate there's so many beautiful dishes at these places it's just amazing pretty one with a scalloped edge sweet little flower plate 
I think this was an old ironstone piece. I'm not the hugest collector of ironstone. I like things with more pattern and flowers and stuff, so I usually leave the ironstone for others. I loved this bench. It would be so sweet on a porch. This booth had a lot of really cool furniture. I'm not sure that I like that. Is it tiger oak? I don't really like it, but that is a really cool piece, isn't it? And the prices were very reasonable. And I love to paint furniture, and I usually don't like when I get see it painted in shops because I always rather do it myself. But these pieces, uh, whoever did it, did a really good job. That would be a cool chest for a boy's room. Just some industrial handles and black. And this was a pretty sofa table. So sweet. Such beautiful attention to detail. I really thought the painting was well done. Even put liner in the drawer. Lovely. Some pretty baskets on top of everything. And I loved the paint job on that dresser. I thought it was beautiful. Very Swedish. Very Gustavian colors. She just had a great, great bunch of furniture in there. These were William Sonoma made in Portugal four dishes like pasta dishes and then a big serving bowl and they were so reasonably priced I think usually if I see things like this they want so much more for them but they only wanted 99 cents per dish and then four dollars for the large serving dish these make me think of looking through the Williams Sonoma catalog like 20 years ago and just ogling all these beautiful things very like 90s or early 2000s I just love them so pretty and then the, this was like a glass Christmas plate I think it was French or Duralex really nice quality I really liked it Leveria de Saint Germain glass makers of Saint Germain I love Christmas platters I think they're so much fun this was like a just a sweet it made me think of Swedish country style because of the blue, but it could also be like just, you know, any country style. Sweet with the blue heart and put towels in it or whatnot. This table was so heavy and cool. It was marble topped and then it had this, you know, square pedestal base. It Very unusual. It must have been handmade by somebody. I, I liked it a lot. I kept thinking you could put it in a bathroom or something. And then there were these step back cupboards in the same booth and they made me think of like English country dressers for kitchens. So reasonable, like $200 for this one. It was so pretty. I love white metal furniture for outdoors. I loved this little set. I would have loved to bring it home. I have one random chair that would have fit perfectly there. I liked these caddies a lot because they were green and teal. I have some just like this that I use for cleaning but they're gray. And I love the colors on those, but I really don't need any more. So I left them there, but so much fun to have a color. Here's the other step back hutch. This one said um, it was a little more. I guess it was like, she, it was really from Kentucky, piece of Kentucky furniture. I just love, love the shape. Um, I, again, I love a little candle holder. I think I want to start getting these and putting them on every bedside table in my house. They're so sweet. And there was this great collection of Langerberger pottery here, which is made out or was made out in Ohio. I love that stuff. It's such good quality. <laughs> These were Langerberger cat dishes. They were adorable. Some more Williams-Sonoma plates. These They wanted a little more for these. Um, they had all the, like, the cheese, French cheese signs on them. They were so cute. I loved them. But they weren't as cheap as I was willing to spend. <laughs> I baked. It's a Christmas miracle. Well, these were these wall pockets. I thought those would be cool to hang up. And then this lady had all these fabric like remnants and bags. You, I loved all the patterns in there. She had these signs that said, please don't open. So I was trying to peek in and see what all the patterns were. I thought this bag had some awesome ones. Like you could just buy it and make a pillow out of each one. I think altogether it would have looked beautiful they really complemented each other so well and look very much like French provincial fabrics to me that I've seen other places she had a lot of these fabric scraps and bags along with some cool pottery pieces um, glass candle holder or something I liked that metal thing I don't know what that is 
I guess that is something to chill wine in, I think. I'm not sure. I loved that little pot. That was so pretty. And I think that's really cool when you can get a bowl like that with like a Tupperware lid. This little painted gray table, again, very it made me think of Swedish country style because of the light pale gray. And this fabric, too, very Swedish country or French country. Look at that with the bees. How pretty is that? I just love that. I wish there had been more of it because the only thing I think of was make a pillow. It's another very Swedish piece because of the white. And then this booth had these two very, very narrow pie safes. I think they might have just been reproductions, not real antiques. But I thought it was interesting there were two and that they were narrow and skinny. Like you could put them somewhere flanking something. And I liked this rag rug too. That table was cool. I think it was just for display, but I really liked it. It was big and sturdy and worn. And there's some blue gingham contact paper that would have been cool inside a drawer. This was a Falscraft tray, and I loved this little basket. I love the shape of it. And this is a really sweet, fun mirror for somewhere. Look at the top of it. So cool. Big old mason jar for holding utensils. I like that so much. And these were from uh, Target's uh, Pillow Fort line, brand new, really cute. And I love. I stopped and looked through all these rag rugs. I thought they were all really nice. And again, it would be perfect if you were trying to do a Swedish look. Cute little chairs. Oh, and then this drop leaf table. How nice is that? That was a really good looking table. I love to put that in a hallway and or behind a sofa. This said it was from the 1930s. Look at this little wicker thing. So interesting. It does look Art Deco kind of, I think, with the shape and everything. And um, I love that big old lantern with the fake candles in it. Oh, so cool. I am such a sucker for these too, these little Jeeves trays. I always, I love them when I see them. One day I'm gonna have to get one. This was a brass coal scuttle, I think it said. And a cool basket, another cool little table, a little shorter than I would like. It's a tea table size, but I would like it to be taller so you could set it in front of a table and put stuff on it. This was a set of baskets that looked pretty new, like might have been from Target or something. Really good looking. And then back at this booth, I went back to this booth because I loved her furniture so much. She had some just gorgeous pieces. And this bare weather vane caught my eye. How fun. I loved it. What would you do with this? I wish you could actually set it on your house, but I guess it's just a decoration. Please give me a thumbs up down below if you like this video and keep watching my other videos for more thrift hauls and thrift flips. I love French country style, Swedish country style, Gustavian, and also English country style. And I love thrifting for these kind of items. So if you love this stuff too, follow along. I've got some guides about how to look for French country and English country style when you're out thrifting. Check those out as well. And thank you again for watching. This is Kathleen from Old World Farmhouse. Bye-bye.